Good morning, Hoosiers, and welcome to Paper News 24-7. Brought to you today by Fourth Hawk Consulting, business efficiency specialists. Your local news in three minutes or less starts right now. I'm Stu Clampett with Montgomery County's top headlines, and in our top story today, a fire broke out Friday evening at the Shady Knoll Apartments, leaving one dead. The identity and cause of death of the deceased are not known at this time. The fire started sometime before 4.30 p.m. in the back first floor apartment of Building 302. That's according to Fire Chief Larry Patton. In less than an hour, firefighters had the fire contained, but not before significant damage had occurred. More than a dozen individuals were forced out of their homes by the fire. In other news, it's the end of the line for the Hoosier State train. Talks between the Indiana Department of Transportation and the Federal Railroad Administration have been derailed. NDOT announced today that the Hoosier State passenger rail line, which operates four days per week between Indianapolis and Chicago, will have its last day of service on April 1st. No, that is not an April Fool's joke. Also today, read the Youth Service Bureau's exploration of how mentoring is good for the economy. That's your local news. Your forecast looks like this. Today should be partly sunny with a high near 40 degrees. Tonight we see partly cloudy skies and a low around 23. Sunday also partly sunny with a high near 37 and Sunday night mostly cloudy with a low around 27 degrees. Monday will be mostly sunny with a high near 43 and an overnight low around 30. And as Weatherby is telling us, don't forget to set your clocks forward this weekend. That's your local weather and news. Sports with Neil Burke is up next. I'm Neil Burke with today's sports headlines. Today in Montgomery County sports, the county won't have a sectional champion this season. North Montgomery's basketball season came to an abrupt end Saturday evening thanks to the hot hand of the Frankfurt Hot Dogs. The Hot Dogs hit 51% of their field goals, including 61% from beyond the arc to upend the Chargers, 71-64. to In 2A action at Newmarket, the fourth quarter arrived in a flash, and the season was gone even more quickly. Southmont's boys basketball team had its season ended Friday on its home court by the Seager Patriots, 62-54. to In sectional championship action tonight, Frankfurt and Lebanon will meet in 3A, while Fountain Central and Seager meet in 2A. The Wabash track team was fast on the first day of the NCAC indoor meet at DePaul on Friday. They'll be back in action today. Read more about that in today's paper. And that was your three minutes of local news. For more information on these and other stories, click on our e-edition or pick up a print copy of the paper of Montgomery County. For Paper News 24-7, I'm Neil Burke.